and Nicole Kidman. Honey, get over here. I really have a command over this place. Brad and Jennifer out in public. The Entertainment Tonight platform was the first stop for the stars. Now the news Tom and Nicole told us at the world premiere of Eyes Wide Shut. What was it like shooting the orgy scene? E.T. discovers how Hollywood really feels about the nudity, the sex, and the orgy. The Bible Belt is going to be worried that it's a porno movie. Good lord. I'm traumatized. I don't know what to do. We get to the bottom of what the movie title, Eyes Wide Shut, really means. As Tom reveals a secret about his marriage with Nicole. I know what it's like to be jealous. Ricky Martin responds to the gay rumors. I said, how do you respond to these questions about your sexuality? Ricky's revealing interview with Rolling Stone magazine. This is Entertainment Tonight, the most watched entertainment news program in the world. Here is the top Tom and Nicole news for Wednesday, July 14th, 1999. Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Goins. And I'm Mary Hart. So what do Hollywood's biggest stars think about Eyes Wide Shut? One actor said she was traumatized. Another worries that some moviegoers may call it porn. As curious celebrities, including Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston, turned out for Tom and Nicole's big premiere, E.T.'s Jan Carl and Mark Steinis got the news from the star's lips. At the moment. This is a true Hollywood premiere. This is exactly what it used to be like. And in true star style, Tom and Nicole crossed the street greeting hundreds of screaming fans and then came straight to our ET platform. Honey, get wait, over wait, here. Wait, 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 wait. She really listens to me. I know. Oh, yeah, there you go. I really have a command over this one. Not a lot of stars will do what you all just did. You go over there and you're greeting hello and they want to hug and touch. No, it's very nice. Uh, yeah. It's really nice if they come out. And <laughs> <laughs> I can smell popcorn, can you? Yeah. Yum. <laughs> Shrouded in secrecy for so long, the premiere of the late Stanley Kubrick's final film is a welcome relief for the stars. Does it feel weird to be able to like open up and start talking about the film more? Um, yeah, it's it relief, does. Actually, yeah, it's uh, a yeah, relief. relief. Mm -hmm. yeah, we didn't discuss this with our agents. We didn't discuss it with our families. You know, it was just us. So it's nice to have them go see it. This is film number three for you all. How soon would you like to act together again? Um, would you like to work with me again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look incredible. How did you pick this? I just found it in a, in a flea market. So. She's yeah. nervous. <laughs> Tom and Nicole told us they wouldn't mind doing an animated feature together someday, but right now they are both busy with other films. How is Mission Impossible coming along? Very well. Yeah. Very well. Very well. And I start uh, the Steven Spielberg picture this fall, which I cannot wait. Tonight's premiere brought Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston out in public, and for the first time, they didn't rush past the cameras. The premiere was definitely the hottest ticket in town, but much of Hollywood's elite was on hand to find out just how steamy things get on screen. Would you and Christina consider doing those erotic scenes maybe one day? Uh, on film. For on camera? film. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 of course. For an audience. I don't, I don't think so. Would yeah. you guys do a scene like that for a movie? For Stanley Kubrick, I'd do anything. Well, I, I, would, I would put a price tag on it, honey. I, <laughs> I wouldn't even want to do it for free now, would you? But there's probably a couple people out there I would do it for, but it would be a tear. My parents, my brothers, my God, I'd be <laughs> dead. Yet, even those in attendance weren't quite sure what to expect from the provocative film. Rest. Tushies. Well, you've worked with Tom before, so I assume you've probably seen a little bit of that tush. Yes, I saw his before, but now I get to see hers. <laughs> I'm going to get the popcorn, I'm going to sit in the seat, and I don't know anything about it. A torn Achilles tendon couldn't keep Elizabeth Shue away from the show, even though it shut down production on her latest film, The Hollow Man. We're going back to work in August, and uh, and I'll be fine by then. I'm already putting a lot of weight onto it, and, and uh, I can't wait to go back to work. That's the good news. But for all its seductive hype, E.T. found out from Tom himself. The infamous orgy scene may not be as racy as rumor suggested. Get undressed. What was it like shooting the orgy scene? It was incredible to see what Stanley did with it because he, he thought about it and had discussed it with us for such a long time and then to see what he uh, finally did with it, it was, it was really very elegant and beautiful. And Were you nervous about dangerous. it? Dangerous. Dangerous, yes. Dangerous. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. At last night's premiere, we also got the latest on Tom's next movie, a Mission Impossible sequel. And it's at the top of tonight's E.T. News Brief.
Rose will soon be heading back down under to finish filming Mission Impossible 2. The sequel to the 1996 hit has been on location in Australia. We learned from co-star Ving Rhames that you can look for some sparks to fly between Tandy Newton and Tom. There's more of an emotional relationship between Tom and Tandy, so it, it has qualities of a love story, and that's all I'll say. Eyes Wide Shut co-star Lily Sobieski didn't get to join the party when her friends hosted the movie's premiere, but I don't feel too sorry for the teenager. She's in Minnesota, hard at work on her next movie, Here on Earth, co-starring American Pie's Chris Klein. Tom Cruise was working for director Sidney Pollack on The Firm when Stanley Kubrick was looking for a star for Eyes Wide Shut. Matter of fact, it was Pollack who recommended Cruise to Kubrick. And Jan Carl talked to him about how he got a part in the movie, too. I think the Bible Belt is going to be worried that it's a porno movie, which of course it isn't. Uh, it's a lot less sexual than people think and a lot more sexual than people think. It's sexual in a non-graphic way. Is it okay if we get some clothes on her and get her out of here? Sidney Pollack says the controversial movie may scare off some audiences with its frank scenes of sexuality. He plays a powerful and rich friend of Tom and Nicole's characters who takes part in one of the lascivious parties. The famed director was shocked at rumors surrounding the film. What was the craziest rumor you ever heard? I don't think I could say it on television. <laughs> oh, that good, was it? Yeah. Well, can you... Well, it had to do with sexual acts being performed by Harvey Keitel or something. Actor Harvey Keitel originally had the part that went to Pollock. Scheduling conflicts with another film kept Keitel from the role, contrary to rumors stating he was let go after he went out of bounds in a scene with Nicole. But he had supposedly had sex scenes with Nicole. That's right. That it went so far. That, so he, far. that he right. went too far and got fired. That's right, fired. and Tom fired. Well, first of all, as you saw in the movie, that I play that part. I don't have any scenes at all with Nicole, except to say hello, welcome to the party. Actor Todd Field is a musician who plays the piano in the infamous orgy scene. He watched many of the women perform their roles completely naked. Initially, I think they were uncomfortable, but it was interesting to see the girls because after, you know, a week or so, they, they were very comfortable. You know, I mean, they're beautiful people and they're completely nude and, you know, uh, every day was a joy to go to work. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. And we're not even close to being finished with our Eyes Wide Shut news. Coming up, more from the premiere, and we go to the party where the stars review Eyes Wide Shut. Harrison Ford's new film in an E.T. first, and we have its Hollywood connection to Tom and Nicole's new movie. The revealing Ricky Martin interview. He answers the question about his sexuality. Next. Feeling trapped? Need a vacation? Good question. This summer, take the ultimate Muppet trip. Works for me. Muppets from space. Great party. Rated G. Now play. You're losing it. Calcium. Every day. 100 milligrams here, 30 there. So take new by active. A soft chocolate chew. 20 calories. Half the daily value. Be sweet to your bones. Wanna know a juicy secret? Lowry's Marinade. A blend of herbs and spices with a splash of real fruit juice. Like herb and garlic with lemon. Mesquite with lime. Teriyaki with pineapple. You're ready to grill in just 30 minutes. That's the secret. Lowry's Marinade. The fruit juice makes the difference. And the difference is delicious. I think it was, there were times, uh, <laughs> you know, that were confronting the two of us. Want to see what the best dress we'll be wearing this year? New frames from Doctors Value Vision. Choose from dozens of new styles and save over $100 when you receive an eye exam and two complete pairs of glasses for just $139. Only from Doctors Value Vision. The compact pickup J.D. Power & Associates ranks best in initial quality. A Consumer's Digest Best Buy. One of car and driver's ten best. Building the new Dodge has been very rewarding. And now owning a new Dodge is even more rewarding. During our summer clearance, there's a lot more to love about the next Neon. Because it comes with a generous $1,000 cash allowance. It's very simple, really. 
Dodge gets awards, you get rewards. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you for this limited time offer. Wide Shut has been shrouded in secrecy. And at last night's premiere, we tried to unravel one of the film's most intriguing mysteries. She's yeah. nervous. <laughs> Are you nervous? She's nervous. nervous. Are, you, yeah. Are you really nervous? Yeah. I guess. Oh, my. Is it so overwhelming? Tom and Nicole had no reason to be nervous, but we did put some stars on the spot when we asked, do you have any idea what Eyes Wide Shut literally means? No, none at all, but I'm quite excited to find out. <laughs> what does the title Eyes Wide Shut mean? The couple probably doesn't want to admit what's happening to them. Neither Tom, Nicole, nor director Stanley Kubrick ever explained the title, but the E.T. Research Department looked into it and has these possibilities. To have your eyes wide shut is to be in the mood of a waking dream or to close one's eyes to reality, a state of denial. I was thinking about the title myself, and there are, because there's a certain dreamlike quality to it, which, you know, is the, the sleeping state, and there's a certain, uh, you know, every, there are so many surprises in the movie that it, that, you know, there are, it, it, it's the sort of thing that leaves you wide-eyed. They did a bad, bad thing. E.T. was first to take you behind the scenes of the music video for Eyes Wide Shut, and we've learned that the finished version had eyes wide open at VH1. Now we're breaking the news that the music channel has ordered a second version of the Chris Isaac tune. The first was deemed too steamy, and VH1 will only air it at night. They've asked for a new re-edited video for daytime. And E.T. will have the debut of Chris Isaac's controversial new video later this week. Licensed pilot Harrison Ford frequently flew himself to the Washington, D.C. set to make his new movie, Random Heart. Well, now we have finished scenes from the film that have him landing in a love story. Our Leonard Malton has another E.T. first. Name an occupation for the jury, please. William Vandenbrock. I'm a sergeant in the Internal Affairs Division of the District of Columbia Police Department. You working late? I can if you are. I'm at the airport. It's the first time I sent a catalog to Miami without me, and the whole thing's falling apart. The aircraft involved was at 737. She was Miami today. I need to find out what plane she was on. If Peyton's traveling, I don't think it's for the store. Are you saying she, she lied to me? We got a guy who thinks his wife was on 437 traveling with another man. 3 A and B, Mr. and Mrs. Cullen Chandler. Are you ready for this? Mrs. Chandler is a congresswoman. K. Spencer Chandler. Harrison Ford and Kristen Scott Thomas are brought together by a cruel twist of fate. My name is Bill Vandenbrock. What is this about? My wife was on that plane, but your husband was on. Are you investigating something? They were sitting together. 3 A and B, your husband, my wife. Do you know that? They begin to investigate their unfaithful spouses. This was under desk at work. Did you see one like this? No. If they find out about your wife, it's gossip. If they find out about my husband, it's in the newspapers. There's gotta be something, some sign of something. You'll never find what you're looking for. What's wrong, Dutch? Instead, they wind up finding one another. Why? Why? Because they did it. Random Hearts is Scott Thomas and Ford's first film together, and it's produced and directed by Sidney Pollack. Listen, this ain't gonna be some nice election. Whatever you don't want to see in the paper, it's surely gonna find it. Mr. Chandler, can you tell me what we're doing? I wonder if you come. There's so many reasons I might be doing this. Could you characterize your relationship with the sergeant? Nobody knows who I am. That looks good. Thanks, Leonard. Random Hearts. It hits theaters in October. The rumors have been swirling about Ricky Martin. Now coming up, what he says about his sexuality. Jackie O and the unpublished pictures from her private collection. The Eyes Wide Shut post-premiere party. Stunned stars reveal their reactions to the movie, including the controversial orgy scene. Also, more from Tom's sit-down interview and how he's obsessed with his wife. That's 
where I use Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal. For voluminous lashes that are three times fuller. Voluminous lashes? Why, yes. Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal. Of course, I'm worth it. When you've got Schlotzky's on the brain, there's not much room for anything else. With a McDonald's Big Mac Extra Value Meal, you're getting a great deal of fat, 53 grams to be exact. If great taste with less fat is what you value, come to Subway. Choose from seven subs under six grams of fat. Add bake lays and a drink, and you'll have an entire meal under eight grams. Take the Subway Challenge. Take one bite, and if you don't like our subs, you get your money back at a Subway near you. Try our turkey breast sub on fresh baked bread. Add bake lays and a drink, you have an entire meal with just eight grams of fat at Subway. G9. Sorry, bro, that's a big fat miss. E4. Equally sorry, but that's a miss, too. C2. C2 is a hit. C3. Hit. Oh, man, you sound like Battleship. The simple truth is, a little distance shouldn't come between friends. Get new Local Plus and make unlimited calls to over 300 additional Missouri cities. Yeah, baby, who's king of the sea now? You are, Larry. Cheater. Celebrate 2000 presents the Science Centers in the Dark, a totally wild, totally interactive exhibit at the University Mall now through September 12th. Whoa. Foot down. You are not going to that interview with Dr. Storetsky. Okay, Bert. I, I guess I just didn't really realize it was going to upset you this much. Well, it does. Well, whatever you want me to do. Well, that was a fun trip back to the 50s. Now get out of my face. Two guys and a girl move to 8, 7 Central next Wednesday on ABC. <laughs> your eyes wide open 2020 tonight Sonny Bono's Scientology connection tops tonight's Inside Hollywood in the next George magazine on sale at the end of the week Congresswoman Mary Bono reveals her late husband Sonny was involved with the Church of Scientology it appears that Sonny began getting interested in Scientology with Cher but she lost interest but he continued on the controversial religion continued to count on Sonny's support when he became a congressman. Sonny was the point person for Scientology in Congress. I wanted to do something that had some impact. America's favorite weight loss guru is doing just that with Richard Simmons' Dream Maker, the show that Grant's Wishes will debut in September. Other syndicated programs soon to make a splash include the Martin Short Show and a new version of Lisa. The only trend you're going to see this fall is variety. A greater variety of syndicated TV shows than I think we've seen in many, many recent seasons. Life magazine commemorates the fifth anniversary of Jackie O's death in their August issue on Stan's Monday with photos by her favorite photographers. Mark Shaw captured Jackie strolling with JFK Jr. in Palm Beach. She was pregnant with son Patrick, who died two days after he was born. And Henry Grossman reveals Jackie in her Fifth Avenue flat. What so many of us remember are the pictures of her looking hunted on the streets of New York City by the paparazzi. Um, but these pictures were at a time when she invited and welcomed photographers into her home. After seeing Eyes Wide Shut, the star's reactions ranged from stunned to high praise. And as a post-premiere party, Jan Carl got it firsthand from the mall. Just brilliant. So thought-provoking. I'm just traumatized. I don't know what to do. It's intriguing. It's terrific. Fantastic. Tom and Nicole pass swiftly by the press, rushing into the L.A. eatery Chasen's to celebrate at the after party. What do you think? Provoking. Oh, my gosh. Sexually, uh, everything. I mean, whew. Good Lord. E.T. was allowed inside the post-premiere bash, where the stars dined on salmon and grilled filet. But guests focused more on digesting the intense drama they had just seen. Extremely powerful. It's still 
settling into me. It's a very deep movie, I think. So people are like, oh, I think I want to see it again. As we first reported, attendees of last night's premiere did not see Kubrick's original film, which could have received an NC-17 rating. To attain our standards, 65 seconds of a costume party orgy scene depicting naked couples performing simulated sex were covered with digital imaging. I would have liked to see it in the way it was before they had to fix it, you know, but uh, it wasn't so bad. I really have never seen anything like that, yeah, so it was um, mind-opening. Mind-opening for Tom and Nicole, too, as he explained to Diane Sawyer in tonight's 2020 on ABC. Was, there were times, uh, <laughs> you know, that were confronting the two of us, but it, uh, it, it was... Like what? I know what it's like to be jealous, you know, to feel that emotion, to feel that uh, obsession, uh, and... With her? Uh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. The world premiere of this tale of jealousy and sexual obsession was a bittersweet occasion for Kubrick's daughters, Catherine and Vivian. What do you hope people take away? you got to forgive me, but if I'm going to keep my makeup on, I can't talk about it. One party-goer who missed the screening was nine-year-old Madison Edgington. Instead, Warner Brothers gave the young girl who plays Tom and Nicole's daughter tickets to see Adam Sandler's Big Daddy. How old do you think you're going to have to be before you're going to see this movie? Uh, I don't know, maybe 20. It was provocative and um, smart, real smart. Yeah. Thank you, Goldie. Thank you, Stanley. And thank you, Jan. While Goldie came with Kurt, her son Oliver showed up with Vanessa Shaw, the actress who plays a prostitute in the film. For all there is to know about Eyes Wide Shut, click on to our ET website. And on tomorrow's show, our candid conversation with Mr. Cruz. Cruise, the Entertainment Tonight interview. Are you a flirt? I'm a flirt. How making the movie affected his marriage. How do you feel it changed you and Nicole as a couple? That's tomorrow. We have news about Ricky Martin. He is on the cover of the new Rolling Stone. And on the pages inside, he answers the questions that some are asking about his sexuality. I said, how do you respond to these questions about your sexuality? And he was terrific. He said, look, I am in the fantasy business. This is what I do for a living. People can fantasize what they want to. They can fantasize who they want to be. And I say, go for it. Whatever you want to think about me, that's fine. I don't care. I know who I am. I want to have a family someday. I'm going for that. And I'm happy. In fact, Ricky reveals details of his initial close encounters of the intimate kind. He said, I lost my virginity when I was 14. And I said, where? And he said, Argentina. I think that he maybe falls in love rather easily. He said he certainly falls in passion and it feels so good. It should be love if it isn't. He sings of unrequited love in his sensual ballads and Ricky admits he knows that pain. He said the girl that broke his heart was Alejandro, this tempestuous Mexican rock star with whom he had a short relationship. And he said he felt really crazy with her, but it didn't last. Over the last 10 years, Ricky has had an on-again, off-again relationship with Spanish newscaster Rebecca de Alba, but they are currently apart. He said she's very sensual, she's very feminine, she's very smart. He said she takes good care of herself, which is important to me. And he said she could be the mother of my children. So I said, why isn't she? And he said, well, you know, we haven't finished that relationship. That could, that could happen. Ricky's going to be in London tomorrow signing autographs for his fans, and his Rolling Stone hits newsstands on Friday. And we will be right back with more from the Eyes Wide Shut premiere. Which party of five star was voted most likely to appear on Hee Haw by their prep school classmates? Is it Nev Campbell, Scott Wolf, or Matthew Fox? Your answer is next in the E.T. Birthdays. Closed captioning provided by... For a limited time, save 25% off Meineke's Lifetime Muffler. Backed by Nationwide Warranty. At Meineke, you won't pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. Taco John's crisp chicken festiva salad is perfect for crunch time. And now there's another delicious way to get all that tangy, crunchy festiva goodness. Introducing Taco John's new Chicken Festiva Burrito. There's a whole lot of Mexican going on, going on at Taco John's. 
Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. It's driving the competition crazy. Dutch quality, Dutch construction, Dutch affordability. The Dutch home is available at Kentucky Oaks Homes. Other manufacturers try to copy the innovative Dutch look, but they can't duplicate the Amish craftsmanship and Dutch quality. Come see the Dutch home at Kentucky Oaks Homes. In Paducah, one and a half miles east of I-24 exit 4, and two Illinois locations east of Carbondale and east of Carterville on Route 13. We're Kentucky Oaks Homes. It's the July clearance sale. Going on now at Stevens Ben Franklin Crafts and Gifts in Marion. Keep your collectibles safe by displaying them in clear plastic rectangle cases. Now, only $1.37 each. Also, save on other general merchandise, including floral, brass items, grapevine items, giftware, and crafts, all 50 to 75% off. It's the July clearance sale. Going on now at Stevens Ben Franklin. Crafts and Gifts in the Town and Country Shopping Center, Marion, Illinois. The Southern Illinoisan Union Planners Bank, Dillard's, Southern Illinois University, and other partners have joined together to celebrate the millennium. Celebrate 2000 is about quality education and creating jobs. It's about supporting community projects. We're celebrating the good things we have here and working together to make things better. Celebrate 2000 is about all of us. Read the Southern to find out more and join us. Celebrate 2000! Denny's All-Star Slams are back, and so is our extra help, both by popular demand. The Gascon family. A home loan saved them $1,000 a month and got them back on track. What can we do for you? The Money Store. 1-800-LOAN-YES. Hi. Hey. You quit smoking. He didn't quit. He uses Targon mouthwash. Look how Targon removes tobacco tar. If you smoke, use Targon. Throwing an E.T. birthday bash today, which party of five star was voted most likely to appear on Hee Haw by their prep school classmates? That's Matthew Fox. He turns 33. Polly Bergen is 69. And Harry Dean Stanton celebrates 73. So you've heard all the buzz. See for yourself when Eyes Wide Shut opens this Friday. Yeah, the stars are still talking about the premiere. And here's more from last night as we say goodnight. See you tomorrow. It's the jack that this film is going to be brilliant. It's Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, God rest his soul. This is a huge one. This is a big one, but it deserves it. I'm blown away. I can't wait to see this movie.